Welcome back. It is time for What to Watch, and a new coming-of-age movie hits theaters today. It's about a girl who turns 18 and gets advice from her 39-year-old self. The title of the movie, we really can't say on TV. <laughs> Marcus Allen shows us more. Yeah, thanks, you guys. I know I've been talking a lot about movies this week, but you've got 12 major motion pictures opening up for this first week in a fall, and this is among my favorites. Look, I I'm a product of last century, right? So I had John Hughes, Pretty in Pink, 16 Candles, uh, The Breakfast Club. These were my movies. Well, this, my old... Yeah, I can't say the full title because it's not appropriate for television, so like I say in my home, always go to the med medical dictionary. So my old glutes is my favorite coming-of-age movie of all time, certainly this century. Megan Park directed it. She did a phenomenal job. Brand new talent. You've never seen Maisie Stella in anything before, but I guarantee you she is the next big thing. I had a chance to talk to both of them. Take a look. Maisie, fifth character. Uh, I can't imagine more chemistry, more authenticity. Where did you pull this performance? Oh, my gosh. What a kind thing to say. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know. I, I think like where we were filming was like the most authentic and like grounded place on earth literally ever um and i think you know the script was very that was the entire You're script mean. to me was just like no. natural authentic and real and grounded no and i think that boob. yeah whatever whatever happened with me no, no, when no, i was there was a <laughs> talent inside <laughs> you was no, also helpful i think no the like the, i think the environment and the set environment as well was very uh nourishing to like authenticity and, and groundedness. There's so many great moments in this, some, some that are extremely heartfelt, some that are extremely funny, but if you had to pick one, Megan, that where, like, you're sitting in Video Village seeing this scene happening, going, mm. this, this is my wildest dream coming true. What would that scene be? Mm. A lot of moments with Maisie I, are coming to mind immediately, but it's funny because the ending mon the ending uh, voice note that old <laughs> sleeves for young <laughs> where she's <laughs> sitting on the toilet listening to it, um, it was this beautiful one take of Maisie, and she, the performance, I, I was just chills everywhere. It was like the best thing I'd ever seen on camera, and I kept being like, this could win this person an Oscar. It was so good. <laughs> and then the hard thing was is we ended up having to cut it into pieces because we wanted to, like, cut away to see different moments. And it really was hard for me because it was such a kill your darlings where I was like, but everyone needs to see this three-minute long shot of me oh. because the performance is so incredible. We'll have to release it at some point. That but. will literally make me, like, weep. No, that was, a, that. That was so a moment sweet. that I'll never forget. And I just thought this is the beginning of something so unbelievably huge for this actor. I, I'm so excited to watch it unfold. <laughs> You have to release that, release that moment. Both of you, it's amazing. Everybody's going to love this. So many love it already. I can't wait for the world to experience it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. I can't say enough good things about this movie. I promise this is going to be your favorite coming-of-age movie. Uh, be warned, uh, the title's not the only problem with it. My Old Glutes uh, also has uh, a lot of adult activities and a lot of uh, sentence enhancer words, if you know what I'm talking about. So brace yourself for that, and then you're going to find a truly touching, heartwarming, awesome movie. My Old Glutes. Back to you. Way to step around that. All right, Mark, thank you. That movie actually filmed about two and a half hours north of Toronto. Beautiful setting up there. For more on this film and other movies hitting theaters this weekend, make sure to tune in to Take a Look with Marcus Allen. It's this morning at 930 right here on ABC 10.